All right, uh, today um, in Las Vegas, uh, it's been raining for the last couple of days. So today is a, like, there's a lot of humidity. I really don't notice a lot of humidity since, you know, I kind of got away from uh, the state where I grew up in, it's, uh, the southern United States. So I really don't notice the humidity that much anymore. But anyway, um, I think it's got a lot of humidity today after raining a couple of days. So anyway, today I want to talk a little bit about, uh, I just said the downtown project, but I guess try to go a little bit about uh, a little farther back than the downtown project. And uh, this is Zappos over there. It used to be City Hall. Um, and here, over here a little bit. We can't see too much of uh, a lot of the, some of the projects that uh, this is, this is Tony Shade is Zappos uh, CEO. You can't see too much about what he's actually done. Okay, let me. Mainly what Tony Shea uh, did was like he's like I guess well he tore down a lot of buildings I can see that um, a lot of empty parking lots it used to be like people used to live live there and just demolish them and that's very evident there but. Uh, People used to live over there, and there's a lot of, I guess, like studio apartments, you know, single rooms, you know. But mainly, I think he's trying to mainly create an atmosphere, not necessarily um, put a lot of buildings up. He's I think mainly he's trying to create an atmosphere where you can attract um, some people, you know, especially the people that he figured that's, that's going to benefit him or uh, invest in his project. Um, let me... Okay, uh, mainly... That used to be City Hall there, and now it's Zappos. Um, I don't know how the mayor connected with this guy, uh, uh, Tony Shea, I mean, a Jewish guy and a, a Chinese guy get together. I, I don't know. I don't know what you meet at it for that. You know, it's, it's no, I don't think it's any special place where Chinese people and Jewish people get to get go and say, all right, we're going to meet up here and uh, put our heads together. So, evidently, I guess the friends of friends, I guess the money circle, you know, whatever the money circle is, you know, the people that's got money, they, they I guess they hang in that circle together. So, Evidently, I guess the mayor um, some of his friends I guess I guess told him about this particular guy, Tony Shade. Is, I guess they were, he, he said he, Tony Shade was saying that he he, he, he liked downtown and he, he wanted to hang out. He, he was hanging out downtown. So I evidently, I guess he liked hanging down here better than go, uh, going somewhere else, like the strip the east side, the west side of, of the in Sumlin somewhere. I guess he he, he likes hanging in, hanging out downtown, which I have seen him uh, in a couple of places. I, I I've seen him at the El Cortez and uh, up on uh, Las Vegas Boulevard and a couple of places. Anyway, so. 
the mayor, I guess, puts out the word he want to revitalize downtown. So I'm going to pan over here a little, back over here a little bit. So they puts out the word that he want the mayor want to revitalize downtown. I guess some is the mayor's inner circle. So I guess told him about this Tony Shea guy. So the mayor, he was he had a couple of projects going. I think mainly he was trying to get. He, they pulled a deal over there on the, for the railroad property, which they put the Smith Center and the mall and the Brain Center over there. So, and then I guess he wanted to try to work, work downtown and get something going downtown. Um, so, I think I mentioned previously that the mayor he got with this particular guy and I guess they came up with a mount I'm not you know I'm not sure that he did but it probably was an amount thrown, uh, thrown around the dollars that what it would take to like I guess revitalize downtown I get get it to where the, where uh, they wanted it to be. And I guess in doing that, I guess they came, uh, they came up with this guy here. I mean, they found this guy here, Tony Shea. So I don't know if they really put their heads together at first, like the mayor and Tony Shea, and and came out with have say, well, all right, you know, been up front with the guy and say, all right, this is what I, this is what uh, someone mentioned to me, but uh, that the numbers, you know, it might take uh, this X amount of dollars to get it. But anyway, Tony Shea, he come up with the with with 350 million. He's going to put in education, uh, investments, incubators, economic incubators, and in uh, property, I guess buying property, renting property, or whatever. So now, after a couple of years of being down here and developing, buying up stuff, um, Tony Shea, I guess he ran into some problems. I mean, you got people jumping off buildings. You got people quitting on you. You're running short of money. So you, your money's not coming in. You're laying off people. So Tony Shea's run into a little problems. I guess uh, when you... When you start talking about revitalizing some, uh, I guess people was throwing a lot of stuff at him, you know, like, hey, uh, let's uh, let's do something with the homeless. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's uh, try to build some colleges, you know, a lot of stuff like that. And I guess Tony Shea, I guess he kind of, you know, it was too much going on, you know, and uh, a lot of stuff was thrown at him. I guess he, you know, I guess it got kind of frustrating. Probably wasn't no money coming back in and stuff like that. And I guess he, he you know, I guess he kind of feel, felt kind of frustrated. So after laying off a couple of people, people uh, committing suicide on him, you know, some of his friends and some of the people that he brought over here from California. Uh, they resigning and he's laying off people. A lot of stuff is going on. But I don't know if the mayor who traded let me who traded this downtown uh, city hall you know 
so the mayor, uh, so the mayor, because they can rent some other building. I mean, what was that all about? Anyway, so Zappos is down here. Tony Shea is down here with his downtown project. So, where did Tony Shea go from here? I mean, how much is he gonna like stick a lot of more money into the project? Are some more people gonna come in? Who knows? But I don't know if the if the mayor was in fact uh, up front, you know, people with City Hall and the developmental project. I don't know if they was really up front with the guy. Uh, well, maybe he, uh, uh, he figured. You know, they they feel well. This guy's an expert. He's a Harvard graduate and all this, and he know everything. You know, he he he's knowledgeable. So we don't need to tell him anything. So, but now after running to all the projects, and a lot of people, especially myself, are wondering. You know, did was the mayor up front with this guy? You know, but when you got someone to say. You know they gotta throw a hundred and uh, three hundred and fifty million dollars uh, at at a, at a at a project at a d downtown to try to re revitalize it, and you say, hey, 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 that's a, that's a lot of money. I better just shut my mouth, you know.